Hello everyone, welcome back to Student Future channel. In today's video, I will guide you how to apply for the fully funded scholarship in Politecnico di Milano University for 2025. So, as you know, admissions are open in this university. You can apply for bachelor, master and PhD as well. So, this is the best opportunity to study in Italy. If we talk about the scholarship details, this is fully funded scholarship and all nationalities can apply for this scholarship and the deadline to apply for this scholarship is 30 January 2025. So you have to complete your application for the scholarship before this deadline. If we talk about the financial benefits, your tuition fee will be covered. You will get stipend but the, there is the availability of food as well. If you are getting food, then you will get 3,000 euros. But if you are not getting food from them, then you will get 6,000 euros in this scholarship. Also, you will get one free meal every day, accommodation in hostels and living and medical expenses will also be covered in this scholarship. So here is the list of available study fields. Almost all major study fields are available in this scholarship for example someone can apply in physics mathematics design civil and environmental engineering mechanical engineering chemical engineering okay so just find your field and apply for this scholarship the eligibility criteria is the candidate must have to apply before the deadline the candidate must have to make the application fee payment Complete the online application and then submit it. Your language certificate must be submitted if you wish to be considered for a merit-based scholarship. So I will tell you there are a list of scholarships. If you want to apply for merit-based scholarship, then you have to submit your language certificate as well. Now let's talk about the application process, how to apply for this scholarship. So here is the website to apply for the scholarship. I will add this website link into the description. You, you can directly open the website by clicking at the link. When you will open this page here, you can see the list of scholarships for which you can apply. For example, if you are going to apply for bachelor degree, then you can apply for DSU scholarship. If you are going to apply for master's degree, then you also you have to apply for DSU scholarship. But there is also option for marriage based scholarship if you think you can apply and you fulfill the criteria to apply for merit-based scholarship then i will suggest you apply for the merit-based scholarship is it is the best opportunity you can study the details of this scholarship as well here you can see the document call for application for merit-based international scholarship just download this document by clicking here and here you can get each and every detail related to merit-based scholarship so here is the document from here, just check how to apply, what is the procedure, what is the eligibility criteria, and for which field, what is the deadline, each and everything is mentioned in this page. So for merit-based scholarship, you can go through by this document. Now, if you talk about the application process to submit your application for scholarship, here you can see at the top right corner, access online services. Simply click here. So this type of page will be open. Here you can see the option of register. If you have not registered for this university, then you have to click here. Click on register. Now you have to fill your data for registration. Simply enter your surname, then enter your name, then select your gender, then enter your date of birth, then select your state of birth. You have to select your country. From here you have to select your place of birth. Then municipality of birth not present in the list. If it is not present here, then you can enter here. Next, you have to select citizenship. If there is any other citizenship, then you have to add this one as well. Otherwise, just leave it. No tax ID code. You don't have any tax ID code. So just leave it. Next is personal email. No, this is important field. Just enter your email address very carefully because you will get each and every detail at this email ID. So enter your Gmail ID. Now here you can see after you just click at this option. Now the next step is you have to add your telephone number. Add here. Just add your mobile phone number. Next you can see it is optional. Click on after you. So scroll down and check your data. Consent to the processing of personal data. Click on yes. Then click on after you. Here you can see. 
a registration confirmation message has been sent to the email address provided just open your email address and select your password just enter your password here now click on continue okay so here you can see next step is registration was successful password was set correctly next is the person code is your university id and together with the related passwords allows you to use various universities okay also you have given person code you have to just remember your person code from here and click on continue now you have to sign in enter your person code here click on password and enter your password here now you have to click on sign in next step is to access the services you need to activate two factor authentication press continue to access the activation page click on continue now you have to activate the page for this purpose what you have to do simply click here at activate here you can see to activate use the logout link available at the top right corner click here at logout once you have to log out your id click on continue now again click here at access online services now enter your person code enter your password click on sign in continue click on continue now click on activate okay from here what you have to do you have to download google authenticator any of the application that is mentioned here for the android and for windows you can install microsoft authenticator or any other on your mobile phone open google authenticator i will suggest you install google authenticator on your mobile phone that is easy as compared to the other once you install this application on your mobile phone click on open and just start your application choose any gmail account to open this next step is you have to set up the account on the app for this purpose simply scan this qr code on your mobile phone okay so after authentication go to online services click here also you can send you can see notification open your gmail id and check the notification here i have received the email open this and here you can see email regarding to this click on continue here again you can check the code on your mobile phone it will keep changing and just enter the code here and here you can log in now now translate it into english now here you can see some options from here select this one admission requests click this one here you can see the fourth option that is request for evaluation to access the master's degree candidates with a foreign qualification so click this option now this type of page will be open here first of all what you have to do add this data for example here you can add your picture simply click on manage and add your picture then secondly you have to add your identity document click here and add your id card or your passport click on add a document now add the details for example document type is your passport issuing body enter republic of pakistan or your country name then enter your document number then you have to enter release date then enter expiry date now click on choose file and attach your passport click on save okay so the document has been saved successfully now what you have to do click on backward and here you have to add your address so click on residence and click on manage click on new address now add your address details select your state then click on common and from here you can select your country from here you can select your city if the municipality is not present in the list then you can write it here otherwise here you can add zip code related to your city then if it is not present you can write it here then you uh, write your address here just add the address house number then click on show preview then click on save and now again click on backwards and now if you have any other data do you want to add for example telephone number and pec or other contact details you can add after adding all this data simply click on backwards here you can can select language uh, english from here here now you can see the option apply for a new program for 2025 semester 1 click here now you have to start your application first of all before you begin then educational background you have to add all your educational data then you have to select your program for which you are going to study in italy then you have to enter english language certificate details then you have to upload your documents then other information then processing personal data and application fee so let's start one by one 
first of all before you begin you have to just read all of these details and click here flag for acknowledgement after doing it click on next now next is educational background now add your educational data okay so educational background number of years completed from primary to secondary school so you have to add your number of years that have been completed it, it will be 12 legal length of university degree so university degree can be two years for master for bachelor four years then click on insert your degree then if you have not added the degree yet then you can click on insert your degree and you can add these details one by one after adding your degree click on next next is program selection now you have to select your program click on study area select your study area for example i am going to select engineering select your campus where you want to study then teaching language select your language taught in english then study program now you have to select your study program so i want to study mechanical engineering so i have selected it now after adding this data click on add study program when you will click on add study program your course or program will be added here now you can click on next next is english language certificate now you have to attach your english language certificate click on add language test here you have to select exam code for example select anyone related to your test then date of attainment when you have finished this test select the date then you have to click on document upload and choose file and attach your document of your english language test score click on upload now click on save and continue now click this option and click on yes confirm and continue now here you can see your certificate is added here now you have to click on next next is documents upload now you have to upload your document that are mandatory here so from here you can see your gpa statement you can get it from your university then you have to attach your resume then italian language it is not necessary then english language you have already attached it but it is optional GRE, recommendation letter, motivation letter, study program. All of these documents you can attach, but these are not mandatory. The uh, important documents are only these two documents. So attach these documents. Okay, so I have uploaded my these two documents. Now you can click on next. Next is other information. Here you can add other information. For example, have you previously applied? To this university at this program select yes or no for me it is no how did you hear about this about this university so just select any option for example internet from here you can select any option click on next now next is processing personal data so here you have to declare click on yes and click on save now there is last step last step is is related to your application fee that you have to pay your fee and how much is the application fee it is 50 euro now the last step is to pay fee just pay your 50 euro fee here you can pay your fee by uh, pagopa before that you have to check all of your details and documents again recheck your documents then click on pagopa and pay your application fee so when you will click here this type of page will be open here you can see payment method so here you can download this document and you can go through how to pay the fee if you know already how to pay the fee just be just pay your application fee and your application for this university will be completed so this is the process to apply for this scholarship i hope you have got each and everything if you have any question or query related to this university or scholarship to study in italy you can comment me i will be there to reply you so wish you very very best of luck see you next video